Our third bike today is Harley Davidson's Road King. The Road King was relaunched in 1997 as a return to traditional values. The Road King gives you a classic Harley look, including spoked wheels combined with updates like electronic sequential port fuel injection. The engine is the Evo and when fitted with electronic fuel injection it makes it easy to start, more economical and improves the overall riding experience. The Road King comes with detachable windshield and pillion pad that converts it from a cruiser to a capable tourer in minutes with the kudos of being a Harley. So then Martin, Catherine, we like to be a little bit different on this programme. So we thought we'd throw a Harley in there. Yeah. Are you a Harley man? No, I'm not, not at all. <laughs> never liked them. <laughs> well, you can't say never, you see, because a lot of people say that and then they get on them and think they're marvellous things. Because what you have to do is forget everything you know and just think differently about these. I'll try and keep an open mind. Yes. Well, keep an open mind on the budget as well. Yeah. Because uh, we've blown it. All oh, right. This one is um, the youngest of our bikes, but it is £12,500. So if you fall in love with it, you better have a little word with Catherine before you say yes. So get your helmets on and let us know what you think. Lovely. Martin and Catherine are testing the 2003 model, which is priced at £12,500. Second hand, Harleys do hold their value. Be sure to check that the belt drive isn't worn as you may find yourself replacing it and check that there isn't any dodgy chrome. There are lots of older models, so you should have quite a good choice and a lot of them will already have the Harley extras fitted by a previous owner. Weighing 335 kilos, it's a heavy one, but once moving, it handles well. Relaxed and comfy, living the dream. So Martin, Harley Davidson, what do you reckon? Very nice, very impressed with it. Yeah? Yeah. Because you said you didn't like it. What did you not like about Harley Davidson before you went on it? To be honest, I don't know. Yeah, I know. No. This is the thing. People do say, I don't like Harleys. But if you can detach yourself, they can be quite pleasant, really. I was very impressed with it yeah. overall. Yeah. Well, tell me about the ride, then. How it's it... it's, it's um, very powerful. Mm -hmm. Plenty of power, torque there. Mm. Um, it's not over heavy. Mm. Very comfortable riding position. Yeah. Um, Wind deflection, all right? Superb, yeah, very good. Uh, and it handled very well as well. I felt very confident with it. Yeah? yeah. How about the brakes? Superb, very good. Yeah. yeah. So can't fault it, really. Can you imagine doing some miles on oh, it? Oh, I can, yeah, definitely. Very relaxed. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, that's the I mean, there's plenty of chrome. Oh, there is. That's your problem. When you're touring and you've got, you know, you have got some rubbish coming up there, you need uh, one of these panniers for the chrome cleaner and cloths, basically. Indeed, take a bit of cleaning. Absolutely. So, um, everything's OK in that respect, then? How did you feel on the back there, Catherine? Yeah, it's quite comfortable, except for the seat, it's a bit small. Yeah, it does look a bit small, actually, and plenty yeah. of miles would... Uh, but you can get, obviously, different seats and stuff with Hollows. That is one of the, the beauties of them. Now, obviously, it is the youngest of the bikes, but it is £2,500 over your budget. Yes, I know. So would you ever be tempted to, to go above budget that, that much? Well, I would for the right bike. But in this case, I'm happy with it. But I don't think Catherine's quite so happy. Ooh, so, okay. so probably not in this instance. Right, well, we'll have to go to the scoreboard then and see how we score this one. OK. OK. Style, Martin. Ten points. It really does look the part. It's lovely. <laughs> Performance. Eight points. It handles surprisingly well and it's very talky. Practicality. Five points. Again, the storage capacity doesn't look very good. And reliability? Eight points. Basic engineering, I can't see the rocks going wrong with it. And value for money? Eight points. Um, it really does look nice. Um, type of bike you could be proud of. But way over your budget. <laughs> way over my budget. <laughs>